Hi everybody, we're back with our rocket stove again. Since our last videos, I've gotten a lot of comments and a lot of suggestions. And some things people just want me to try out and see if it works better. So that's what we're doing today. I've had a couple people say don't use concrete blocks like these. They may explode or they may crumble. So I asked an engineer and a chimney guy. Both of them said that concrete blocks, concrete bricks may not be the best choice for an outdoor rocket stove such as this. But they also said there probably is not a danger there. On the other hand, I had an experienced concrete guy mention that they might be a problem. So I don't know what to tell you other than the jury is still out on this. But really, there's no reason you can't use regular bricks. These cost about 38 cents a piece. These cost about 58 cents a piece. You're not talking a lot of money involved. The other question was if a taller stack of bricks would make the stove draw better. And that's what we're doing today. I have taken the improved concrete stove and I've put added two layers of regular bricks on top. This makes it seven high and there's about four in each one of these layers. So it's 28. If you pull out the ones in front that's 26. So a total of 26 bricks you can make this stove. So let's try it out and see how this works. So I'm going to light a fire in this thing and let's see if the taller chimney makes a difference. This is the wood I'm going to use. It's just old construction scraps and some wood I picked up off the forest floor. It's not very good. I'm going to light this with a ferrocerium rod, cotton balls, and Vaseline. Okay, we have ignition. Now I'm going to put it in here and we'll start building the fire. Because of this mesh right here, we're getting some good air circulation going through there. You already may be able to see some smoke coming out. If you look, you can see there's quite a draft going through there already. I'm going to put this gas stove grill on top to kind of lift the pot off the flames. And then I'm going to put on about 24 ounces of water. And we'll see how long it takes this to boil. If we needed to regulate the heat, we could shove this block right in there and we could take another block and put it up across there. That would kind of cut the draft down. We could also go with a lower grill height. This is about an inch or something like that. And if you wanted to regulate the heat, that would probably be the easiest way to do it. As it stands right now, we've been going oh, a minute or two minutes or something like that with an uncovered uninsulated tin can and we're starting to see a bubbling. So is it a better stove to make one stacked a little taller? This one seems to work better with two additional layers of bricks for a total of 24. Now that's not much. You can buy these kind of bricks right here for about 58 cents a piece. You can buy the concrete for 38 cents a piece. We're still not talking much money at all. So as you consider preparing for the possibility of off-grid cooking, one of the best things you could probably do is get a bunch of bricks, learn how to stack them, and try this technique out. It works really well. This is Survival Common Sense. Have a great day. Go build a brick rocket stove. And thanks for watching.